CEDA. The Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women is an international human rights treaty that focuses on women's rights and women's issues worldwide. It follows the following three principles substantive equality, non discrimination, and state obligation. This video explains the principle of non discrimination. Most countries around the world have signed the CEDAW Convention. This means that they have given their commitment to respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights of women in their respective countries. However, discrimination still exists in many countries, both directly and indirectly. Many countries practice nationality laws that directly discriminate against women and children. For example, fathers are allowed by law to transfer their citizenship to their children, but mothers cannot. Without citizenship, the child is excluded from health care, education, and other services offered to citizens. Indirect discrimination comes from gender-neutral laws and policies, which seem to give equal opportunities and access to both men and women. But in practice, women are disadvantaged due to historical discrimination caused by the patriarchal system. For example, a newspaper company is hiring an editor and invites both men and women reporters to apply, on condition that the candidate must have served in all the different news desks before. But this indirectly disqualifies all the women reporters, as there is another policy that disallows women from serving on the crime desk due to the high risk involved. As a result, no women can apply for the job. Patriarchy is a social system in which the role of the male as the primary authority figure is central to social organization, and where fathers hold authority over women, children, and property. It implies the institution of male rule and privilege, and is dependent on female subordination. In the patriarchy system, male traits are more valued than female traits. For example, you will often hear boys and men being told not to be a girl. This happens because patriarchy views womanhood as weakness and it is valued less compared to men. In many countries, women face obstacles due to cultural and religious practices. As a result of these beliefs and practices, women have suffered historical discrimination. For example, female genital mutilation, a practice where part of the female genitalia is cut or disfigured, has been defended as a religious responsibility or a traditional passage to womanhood. However, it has been proven that unlike male circumcision, female genital mutilation offers no benefits to the women and can cause medical complications and in some cases results in death. It is important to keep in mind that non-discrimination for women must exist in de jure and de facto. De jure means of law, and de facto means of fact, meaning what is actually happening in reality. For example, there is a fish farm project in the village of Loma. The policy states that it would provide equal opportunities to women and men to become farmers and better their livelihoods. All parts of training will be available to everybody. But, one of the conditions states that applicants must have some farmland to work in. During implementation, no women participated. It is found that women do not own farmlands in the village, as the inheritance laws were discriminatory and did not allow women to inherit property. The local culture also prohibits women to control or access family income or assets, including their husband's farms. A lot of laws and policies exist which is supposed to benefit women, but did not take into account the historical discrimination that prohibits women from enjoying those rights. Chances are such policies also exist in your country, in a multiple of scenarios. This video covers the principle of non-discrimination, one of three CEDAW principles.